Hey everybody, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome back to another Thursday Night Thrift. Tonight we are shopping in Mayfield Heights, Ohio at a Goodwill. This is one of my favorite Goodwills to stop at, especially when I'm anywhere kind of up northeast. I have to pass it, so I uh, take a highway break and check it out. These shelves are so packed all the time, you'll notice things just hanging off and they always make me nervous. Um, I try and push them on where I can. It will move everything down the shelf and something might fall off the other side. So you have to be careful. These guys were cute. Um, I want to say it was resin though, not ceramic. And then I found this guy and we all know for a couple bucks I don't pass a crack of glass piece. Okay, before I get to showing you this piece, which was my first, actually my second piece, we'll get to that, I wanted to introduce you to my other half. So Hello, this, everybody. This is Irf, Irfan. Um, I want to thank you very much for having me. Well, being thank, you, thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. <laughs> he is often in my videos, but you see him maybe from here down modeling an apron <laughs> or um, with a mask on, acting goofy. Um, but tonight I talked him into joining me for, uh, for this video, so it'll be educational, right? Right. <laughs> This is the first piece that you saw me pick up. It's a piece of crack of glass. As I said, for a couple of dollars and I paid $2.19, I can't pass up on a, on a little piece of crack of glass. This is a collection that I have that's growing. We have a cabinet, a medicine cabinet in the bathroom full of crack of glass. Um, Earth was afraid at first when I did that because I think what you thought that- I can get clumsy and pull my toothbrush out of it. And yeah, it our would fall, tooth... It would fall out and I'll be sleeping on the couch. <laughs> our our toothbrushes and our um, like our, our products are in there. I'll share a picture for anybody who's new. But yeah, he was afraid that he would break them and I said, no, let's use, let's use the old pretty things that we have. If one gets broken, then, you know, it gets broken. But um, this is a nice little ruffled edged piece. They're not worth much. Eight to ten dollars, maybe twelve on a good day. That was a nice find. And before I found that piece, I actually, before I even turned the camera on, I found this guy. You may have seen him peeking in the cart there. Do you know what that is? It's a pitcher. It's like a, a maybe yeah. like a butter pitcher. Yeah, it's I would a, say you could put butter. Like maybe um, butter for your uh, lobster. That's what I would say. Maybe like a little sauce or gravy pitcher. I would say maybe like a, yeah, put your butter in there, pour your butter or something. But look at how cool, it's a Fitz and Floyd piece. I paid $3.29, maybe hard to see there. But it is, um, it does have Fitz and Floyd, 19, 1992? 1992. 1992. I'll show you some comps, it's really nice. There are no chips, cracks, repairs. Pretty nice. That was the, my first, the first thing that I found and I thought, if this is the only thing I find today, I'll be all right. But it wasn't. It was pretty good. We were only there a couple of minutes and found a couple of nice things. Here is a Big Sky piece. Big Sky pieces can do pretty well depending on what they are. Always look them up. This one I liked because it had the original tag on it. It is painted by and signed by an artist. I think you'll see it here in a second. Um, I believe it's Heather Goldmink. Yeah, Heather Goldmink. This is like a fairy house, but they had $6.99 on it. And you'll see here in a second, there's a little spring on the top that should have a little bee or a little insect or something on it that was broken off. So then I'm back on the shelf. This is a piece of Fostoria coin glass. I have a couple of pieces of Fostoria coin glass in my collection. This one, the top of it was dinged right there, you could see. And it didn't have a price on it, but they do not sell for a lot. This particular piece, the last one sold for just $8 plus some, some shipping on eBay. So I passed on that. And then look, can you see what I see? 
This is a six petal Viking swung glass in amber. A nice size, maybe 16 inches, 18 inches. That, my friends, is a good happy find. This, you know how much I love these. I know you do. I have a collection. My grandmother started a collection of swung glass vases um, years and years ago, and she gifted them all to me one by one over many, many years. And so I have a nice collection. This is a what's called a six petal. You can see in here the flower. Six petal Viking swung glass. And it's swung. You know why they call it swung? Because actually when they make these. When they make it. Yeah, they swing it. And that's what causes that crazy little top. But this is an amber piece. I'd say it's about 16, 18 inches tall. It's a nice size. Um, probably in the $30 to $40 range as far as resale. But do you think it'll get sold? <laughs> Knowing you, you will keep it. <laughs> Probably will <laughs> keep it for a while. Um, I paid five ninety nine for it, and when I saw it up there on that top shelf, I, I, you know, I heard the angels. <laughs> 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 there was an aisle that I went down that had like one of two two ladies brought a cart out, and they were filling up um, the shelves in that area, and. It was hard to get around them and I didn't want to film while I was in that aisle because they were there and they were talking and singing. The one woman was singing Christmas carols but making up her own words. It was kind of great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wish I would have recorded that, <laughs> but I didn't. But I found a couple of things in that aisle that I want to share with you that you may see in the cart as I'm shopping around um, the rest of the film. Uh, this piece, this is a nice piece of... Brown drip. Brown drip. We have an entire collection of Hall brown drip, but this isn't Hall, this is McCoy. And I paid $2.99. $2.99. That's a good price for a piece of uh, a big baking dish like this. So it's got the McCoy in the middle there. And what I like about this is it's not just a normal oval dish. It has this nice kind of scalloped part to it. It's a nice big piece and I thought that was great for $2.99. I, I scooped that. It, again, it's hard for me to pass up anything that's brown drip. Just like the crack of glass. And then the other thing I found, and I just found one of these a couple weeks ago. They use these in vases so that the flowers all stood kind of, you know, apart so the bouquet was pretty. But I looked for one. Where did I put that? I looked for one because I was starting to find some marbles and I wanted to keep my marbles all together. So I thought maybe I could use this for my marbles <laughs> so that I didn't have to collect anymore <laughs> because it's smaller. Maybe I just have like a, I could sell the bigger one and maybe I can just have a smaller marble display. Now I only need four, oh, five. <laughs> now I need five. Those are marbles. <laughs> I just lost, my brain. I just lost the marble. <laughs> uh, oops. Just lost the marble. Maybe I will need to keep this one because it's flatter and they're not gonna fall off. <laughs> it's telling you for a reason to keep that one. <laughs> well, shucks. Well, I'll sell one of them. Maybe we'll sell the smaller one. I liked this guy. I liked his little circus attire. I'm not a fan of circus elephants. I just like the way he looked and the colors. And then this guy, this is a piece made in Bavaria. His uh, sticker there was destroyed, so I have no idea what they wanted for him. But that was a nice little flower frog, ceramic uh, flower frog. This was a piece of um, enamelware. This, I believe, is a pottery barn piece. I have another color, just like this. That's why I checked it out. Um, it is busted. And we get to the wood section, which I love. This guy is a hand-carved, hand-painted cheetah. And then over here, some giraffes. I love giraffes. That guy was resin, unfortunately, but I is a nice painted, hand-carved piece, and he goes in the cart with the cheetah. He's a cheetah. Cheetah. I would say a cheetah with those spots. 
Rawr. Really nice carved and painted piece. 219, could not pass him up. And then I found his friend, the giraffe. And he's great. Oftentimes these, because the legs on him are so narrow. They're usually broken. Yeah, I find a lot that are broken. And he's in great condition. Um, he doesn't have any missing ears or anything. Beautifully painted. So I think I'll probably keep them together. Although, man, it's a little scary for that giraffe. <laughs> like, <"Rawr." laughs> I'm going to bite you in the butt. <laughs> Oh, this poor llama. He lost his legs. Poor guy. This fish was kind of cool. It was a really light, I want to say chalkware type material. And this, I like the look of this. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Just had one single hook there in the middle, maybe for a key or something, but no place to hang it up. So I'm not sure. I love digging around in the wicker and the wood section. It's like one of the places that I, I just find good stuff. This is cute. I don't know if this is a little recipe box, um, but I like the graphic and the color of that I loved. But for $3.99, I like this little piece too. It's just a primitive masher or a pestle. I'd love to have a collection of those, but I kind of like them when they look weathered and darker. This was a cute piece, a couple little duckies and an umbrella. It's a Hallmark piece. However, the last one sold for like $15 with uh, free shipping, so it's not that great. And this, I was drawn to this, but again, modern. I'm back over to where I found those animals, and here are another couple of hand carved pieces. Now there's a lot of these, these are napkin rings, there's a lot of these on eBay and I grabbed these because they were just beautifully carved. These are napkin rings. They're pretty large for napkin rings but they're completely hand carved. Even the bottoms, the bases of them are hand carved. Now I found a bunch of these on eBay, like sets of them. Mm -hmm. The more you have, the more value you have. Um, they're not worth a lot, but a lot of the ones I found weren't carved like this. The tusks are there. It's just really detailed, and a lot of them that I found on eBay were like rough, kind of rough carved, and these are really kind of nicely um, shaped and, and carved. They're not... Um, Jump on eBay and look for yourself if you're if you have any interest in these because you get a whole set pretty cheap, but they're not necessarily this detailed, and that's what I loved about these. And well, it looks like a dog hair. <laughs> <laughs> and they were two nineteen each. Now that's a lot for these, um, four forty for the pair. If I could find a nice big set, you know that would be awesome. It would be awesome to own because I own a lot of the <laughs> um, the African carved pieces but it would be awesome to sell too if I had maybe six or eight of them so we might hold on to those for a while and something caught my eye as I was gonna round the corner on the other side of the aisle and it was this this is a old coal scuttle now, I have one that is a shorter, squattier kind of um, pot. This one is a nice tall one, and I couldn't believe I found it here at the Goodwill. It's a pretty neat find. This guy was a surprise. I, I literally, when I was like, I don't know if I turned my head, but I saw this ginormous kind of brass thing, and you know how much I love brass. So I looked over there, I was like, what in the world? It's a coal scuttle. It's an old coal scuttle. It's actually, I looked it up, it's um, Danish, so from, made in Denmark, right? Mm -hmm. And they, you know, you put your coal in there and then you use the handles. This one is a ceramic painted handle. You use this handle and a handle up top to like, whoosh, 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 put your coal in the fire. 
I guess maybe you don't have to like get in there in there, you know, because you can whoosh, whoosh, throw it in there if you have it in your in your scuttle. In your scuttle. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was really cool. I've seen some that were sold recently on eBay. I don't know if they're if they're truly comparable, but they went for 30 um, or under. With some pretty harsh with some pretty major um shipping because it's large it's going to cost some money to ship if someone really wants it they're going to buy it yeah they'll pay but i think i might try it at the shop first um because it's nice and old and um might might do well at an antique shop we'll see and i think the ones that are listed now are anywhere from 50 60 to 100 dollars and I think people like them because they can put them by the front door and put their umbrellas or their canes in them. Makes a nice like umbrella holder. It's kind of multi-purpose. Or you could put it by your fireplace and put your like kindling in there. It's kind of nice. I'll throw your tools or like your brush. Your oh yeah, you could throw you could put your fireplace tools in there maybe. But it's really cool. The five can. I don't know, is that, you think that makes like five gallons worth of coal or something? Uh, I don't know either. But this is weird because I found this scuttle and I just bought in an online auction another scuttle. A sugar scuttle. Yeah, I brought it out to show. So I had never even heard of a sugar scuttle. I had heard of a coal scuttle because I, ha I own one, but it's, um, I'll share a picture of, of one like the one I own. It's kind of like a like a rounded pot and we keep it by the fireplace with the dog's toys in, in it so it, it serves a purpose too this is a sugar scuttle now this is pretty delicate it's um, porcelain it's hand painted it's actually signed um, has a little gold JG under there you're probably not gonna see it because this white is bleaching everything it's got this little detail on the back here and on the bottom here and then this little spoon sits in here and then you can actually this is like a scuttle for your scuttle like a, a, sugar. Scoop, a scoop for your scuttle like how many scoops would you like in your tea <laughs> yeah so that was pretty cool that I found a scuttle and then within a week I found another scuttle and I'm I don't think, and I don't think I'd ever ever imagined yeah, I'm a, I'm a scuttle hunter. I'm hunting the scuttles now. This guy is probably going to do between $38 and $45 on eBay. That's what I'm seeing. And yeah, that other big scuttle, we'll see. We'll probably price it at the shop for kind of $50 or $60 maybe. I mean, what did I pay for that? $4.39. That was a good find. Yes, it was. This I couldn't tell you what I paid for because I bought it in a box lot. And I probably paid eleven dollars for the box, so I would have bought this for probably ten or eleven dollars. Since I know I can get forty-five, maybe we'll see. I ended here on the Christmas aisle. Again, lots and lots of things all stacked up. By the time you get all the way through the store and you're in this area, it's like, it's like you have, you know, eye exhaustion. <laughs> like, I just can't take it all in. I did check out this guy. He was like a shelf sitter. I was trying to decide what he was. I think maybe a, like a lion tamer or a circus, circus guy. He's got like a whip or something in his hands and I yeah, I don't know and then I put him on this bowl which I thought was gonna slip out and break <laughs> so I moved that and then this thing that I'm about to show you I just had to leave on this note um, no nope, not this thing it's up up here oh look it's a giant Santa uh, dog <laughs> what I was so confused for a second. I thought it was a giant Santa figurine, and here it's this, like, what? Standard schnauzer, maybe? With that big white beard? Oh, my gosh. I thought he was so cool. 
I thought he was really neat. That's it. That is all of the loot for this week. And is there anything else we need to tell them? Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And if you can, share the video so that we can uh, build our little audience here of people who are sharing information. And I think that's it. We appreciate you watching. We hope everybody's staying safe. And happy will... holidays to everybody out there. Happy holidays. There will be a video up next week. Actually, maybe a two-parter that starts Tuesday and plays on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So keep your eyes out for that. But yeah, stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you next week. See you, everybody. Bye.